Hello YouTube students, my name is Vincent and today I want to derive the equation of the circle on the Cartesian plane. We have a circle with center hk and radius r can be modeled by the equation x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared and today I want to explain why that equation works. So now we have some general circle with center hk so we could label the center hk and now let's think about how do we get to this point hk. Well first we travel a horizontal distance of h and then we travel a vertical distance of k. So we can mark off h on the x-axis and we can mark off k on the y-axis. So next I want to look at a random point on the circumference of the circle. So we have some point, let's say we label this point here and we can name this point or we could label the coordinates x, y. So now I want to build a right triangle going from h, k to x, y. So now we could draw a horizontal leg and next we could draw a vertical leg connecting these two points. And now when I connect h, k to x, y I have a right triangle. So now let's think of the dimensions of this right triangle. We have this distance here we could call r, where r represents the radius of the circle. Because we're going from the center of the circle to a point on the circumference of the circle. And now keep in mind, the definition of a radius is the distance from the center of a circle to any point on the circumference of the circle. So now that we have one of the legs labeled, we need to think about the lengths of the other legs of this right triangle. Well now, let's think about how do we get to the point x, y. We travel a horizontal distance of x and we travel a vertical distance of y. So now we, need a, now we have a better idea of what the lengths of each of these legs are. If we look at this horizontal leg, the length of this leg is the difference between x and h. This little measurement here represents the length of this horizontal leg. So we could call this leg x minus h. And now to convince yourself of why this works, let's say x was 10 and h was 5. 5 and 10 are 5 apart, and 10 minus 5 would give you that length. And now we do the same thing for the vertical leg. The vertical leg is the distance between these y values. So we could call this vertical leg y minus k. So now, so now we have the dimensions. We have all three sides of this right triangle. So now we could use the Pythagorean theorem to set up an equation relating the three sides of this right triangle. Remember, in general, when we have a right triangle with legs a, b, and hypotenuse c, we could set up the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So applying that to the right triangle we have in the diagram over there, we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals the hypotenuse r squared. So now when we apply this Pythagorean theorem to this circle, we derive the equation of the circle for a circle centered at hk with radius r. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.